Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. We got uh, another pro tip here for you. What I'm gonna do now from now on in this uh, pro tip series, I'm gonna do one pro tip every week. This one might be one of the most important pro tips with all this software uh, updates and how sometimes in the last few updates I've noticed it's been really buggy. I'm on a uh, 2019.16.2. And um, it's buggy. It's to the point where, as you can see in this video here, I have no autopilot. I haven't had autopilot all day long. There's no cars around me. It's not detecting the lines. Uh, my Even my auto high beams don't work. So it's the camera's not working. The funny thing is, if I come here, my backup camera's working. Now, problem is I haven't had my backup camera work for probably the past week or two. It comes on one once in a while and then it just doesn't work and I've tried reboots I've done a soft reboot I've done a hard reboot and still nothing with the backup camera so now I find it surprising that today it's working perfectly but now my autopilot and my front camera isn't working and I've tried the soft reboot a couple times two or three times I've tried a hard reboot two or three times and nothing's worked well I got this tip from my buddy Tom a little while ago he had the same problem that and he had oh he had problems in general and he got this uh, information from a tesla service person and uh it was emailed to him and this is basically this is the steps you have to take and i'm going to try it here with you guys live hopefully it uh, has hopefully it fixes the problem uh it's for general various problems that are more serious when a soft or hard reboot doesn't work so hopefully it'll work what it is it's called a full power cycle and you do it to your vehicle your tesla model 3 or any I, maybe it'll work for all teslas i'm not sure but here's the first thing and and you got to follow this religiously so the first thing is you make sure your vehicle is not plugged in or charging make sure the vehicle stays in park i've got it in park make sure the doors are all closed and all the windows are up keep your feet off the brake and off the accelerator and try not to move around in your seat too much i guess if you move around in your seat it uh recognizes this and triggers it uh, a reboot or something but that's what it says that's step number one step number two is holding the scroll wheels on a steering wheel until the screen goes blank and then release so that's similar to a soft reboot step three is when the mcu reboots select controls safety and security and power off the vehicle step number four is wait for a full three minutes if the vehicle powers itself back on during this time, double check that all the conditions from step one are met and then you have to start over again. So well, hopefully it doesn't ha happen to us. Uh, step number five is power the vehicle back on by opening and closing the door. And that's it. Those are five steps. You have to do it in that order and it's very particular in the sequence you do it in. So let's give it a try. Okay, we're gonna give this a try. I've put the camera down. Let's close the door, step one. Car isn't charging, it's not plugged in. All the doors are closed. All the windows are, are up. It's in park. I'm not gonna move around in my seat too much. I'm gonna hold the scroll wheels down till the screen goes black. It's gone black. When the MCU reboots, then I have to go into the settings. Let me get my stopwatch ready for three minutes while I'm waiting for it to reboot. Okay, that's ready. Waiting for the screen to reboot. This is really hard to not move around. <laughs> screen is rebooted. Now I'm looking for controls, safety, and security. Power vehicle off. Power off. Wait three minutes. Starting at three minutes now. I'm going to fast forward all this. Okay, it's been exactly okay it's been exactly three minutes it says now open and close the door to power the vehicle back on and there you go those are the five easy steps but precise but easy steps to do a what's it called again a full power cycle on your model 3 if you have any problems that's it folks thanks for watching i'll let you know in the comments below if it actually helped and did anything if you got any questions or comments regarding this stuff let me know in the comments below and we'll see you on the next one take care Bye.